spiraling in opposite directions. Okay? And those two layers of smooth muscles are present as the, inter as the interface of mucosa and submucosa, particularly lamina propria of the mucosa and submucosa. Another difference that can, you can notice in intrapulmonary bronchi is the presence of irregular plates. So there are no C-shaped rings of hyaline cartilage. Instead, there are irregular plates of hyaline cartilage. Okay? Like, you can see this here. There is the beginning of the other one here, etc. Around the whole human. Now for the bronchiole, bronchioles do not have cartilages in their walls. So what happens in the respiratory system? As you go distally in the respiratory system, cartilage decreases replaced by increasing the amount of the smooth muscle. Thickness of epithelium decreases. Okay? So here, this is the bronchiole. Here is the lumen, okay, and this is the epithelium. You can see the thickness of the epithelium. It's much smaller. This is not so stratified columnar epithelium. You can see one level of a nuclei. Not like the pseudo stratified columnar epithelium where you can see different levels. You can't recognize that, okay, those are just one layer of a nuclei of one layer of cells, okay? Another thing now, regarding the bronchioles, the largest bronchioles, the more proximal bronchioles, okay, would have ciliated columnar epithelium, simple columnar epithelium, okay, with cilia. But as you go distally, okay, it is replaced by simply cuboidal, some cilia. Another thing, more proximal and larger bronchioles may have occasional goblet cells, which are unique for respiratory epithelium. But in the most distant bronchioles, you can see clara cells instead. Clara cells are just columnar cells, okay, with dome shaped apices. Okay? Here, terminal bronchioles, you can see those structures here whose epithelium, whose wall is very thin, okay? Just avoided epithelium, some with cilia, and there are clara cells. Of course, terminal bronchioles are, or represent the most distal site of the conducting zone of the respiratory system. Now, here, this structure is respiratory bronchiole. You can't see complete wall. For example, here, this is an interruption. Okay? So, of course, you may say that this wall is somewhat thick, but it's not the case. It's just is folded. There is some misfolding. Okay? Appearing as if it was thick, but it's not the case. So, here, there you have the simple cuboidal epithelium, and then there is interruption by the alveoli. Okay, so it should be like this. This should be present all the way around for the lumen. But here, instead of continuous lining, there is interruption by alveoli. What are alveoli? They are just grape-like structures. For example, if you see this here, okay, grape-like structures that are lined by highly attenuated cells because they should be the areas of gas-gas exchange. Their wall consists of two types of cells, type 1 and type 2. Now, before talking about that, we said that this is respiratory bronchiole. This is the beginning of respiratory zone of the respiratory system. The respiratory bronchiole will give rise to something called alveolar 
duct. You can see the alveolar duct. It doesn't have real wall, just alveolar. Okay? Now, here, this is an alveolar duct. Okay? If you can see, this is, let's say, this is one alveolus. This is another one. This is another one. They have common air space that's, that is called atrium. This is alveolar sac. So alveolar sac consists of more than two or even two or more alveoli having common air space. You can see at the beginning, this is, we said this is the alveolar sac, okay? We can see at the beginning of the opening of each alveolus, can you see this not like structure? This is just a smooth muscle acting as a constrictor to control the opening of the alveolus. However, you can see such structures at the alveoli forming the alveolar sacs. Okay, this is another, you may consider this as another alveolar sac. One, two, okay, and this is three, and these have this atrium. Here the last thing to see is the macrophages, those looking in the black, which are referred to as the cells in the lung. Okay? So those are the macrophages. Okay, I'm finished. The questions will come.